Hi everyone, it's Tazlin here from Tazlin's Crochet Creations and for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this really cute little, I don't know, cluster hat, I guess. Um, I actually crocheted this hat years back. Um, I don't even know when I actually crocheted this, but if I am not mistaken, if I remember correctly, um, Laura from Happy Berry Crochet um, did a YouTube video on, on how to crochet this cluster stitch. Um, if I do find it, um, well, she did do the video like I somewhat remember. I will link it in the description and I'll link it up here in the card. Um, so yeah, um, I actually decided to turn it into a hat because I really, really liked the design of it. And um, yeah, I don't even know what this yarn is called, but I actually... I actually really love this hat and I haven't actually worn it in a long time so I'm actually surprised that you guys actually wanted a tutorial for it so I'm happy that I can finally give it to you um so yeah it's actually very basic very beginner friendly um I'll go through the, the pattern um very slowly um it is so basic you guys will love the hat because I loved making it and I even love drafting up the pattern even though um it was a quick super easy pattern and um, yeah, I actually made myself another hat um, just to um, make sure the pattern was correct. Um, so yeah, I think I'll actually pull it out and show you quickly. Okay. So this is what the other hat looks like. So um, the color of this yarn that I'm wearing with the hat is called Bahama Blue. Um, so it has this nice like variegated um, blue which I, I actually really like this. I think, it's, I think it's sweet. I really, really do. Um, so yeah, with that being said, uh, let's get started with today's tutorial on how to crochet this cute little cluster hat. Let's go. Okay, so um, in order to crochet the cluster hat or the shell hat, whichever one you want to call it, um, I see on my pattern I actually named it the, the, shell, um, the shell hat, um, whereas early in the video I mentioned that this is the cluster hat, so I don't know, you can choose whatever you'd like, it's um, whatever you prefer to call it I guess. So um, for the materials, um, I'll be using this variegated um, pink yarn. Um, so this is DK, 100% um, acrylic, and it is, um, so it's 100% it's acrylic, it's a 100 gram ball, um, and it is 233 meters or 256 yards. Um, I do have the label in my drawer with amongst all of the other labels that I have for yarn, um, but yeah, this is a DK weight yarn. And if I remember correctly, the colours are the Be My Valentine or Lovey Dovey. I do remember that 100%. It's either one of the two because they're very, very similar um, in terms of the, the, the colours and all of that. Um, which is very ironic because Valentine's Day is around the corner. So um, maybe this could be a nice little cute little hat to wear on a Valentine's Day date. Um, I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is 100% acrylic. Um, DK weight yarn and with that I'm using yeah, I'm using my um, four millimeter crochet hook you'll be needing a pair of scissors as well as a tapestry needle with a large eye okay that is it for the materials now let's get started with crocheting this cute little hat okay so to get started on um, making this cute little bucket hat we're going to take our four millimeter crochet hook and our yarn and we're going to make a magic ring so in order to do that we're going to take our yarn going to put it over our two fingers you're going to take the working yarn wrap it over once twice and then the second time we're going to cross over to form an x like that we're going to hold that down with our pinky finger and then what you want to do, you want to turn your fingers over, take your crochet hook, insert under the first two loops, pick up the second loop, and then you're just going to do a chain one to secure. So to chain one, you're going to yarn over and pull through to do a chain one to secure. Then you can take your magic ring off of your fingers. Okay. 
Then you can take your magic ring off of your fingers and then I'm just going to chain another one just for leverage. These chains do not count as a stitch, it's just to get our crochet hook to the heart that we need our double crochet stitches. So to do a double crochet we're going to yarn over, insert into the center of that magic ring, yarn over, pull through, we'll have three loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through the first two and then yarn over and pull through the last two. So that's your first double crochet. Again, you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, and then yarn over and pull through the last two. Yarn over, insert into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and then you're just going to repeat, okay, and then you're just going to repeat that until you have a total of 12 double crochets. <clears throat> okay, so now once okay, so now once you have completed all 12 of your double crochets, you just want to count your stitches to make sure you have 12. And the way you count your stitches is by looking at the top of these here. Yeah, okay, so we have one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we need to close off our magic ring. So in order to do that, you're going to take your tail end, and you're going to pull on your tail end, and you'll see one loop getting pulled in. Then you're going to take that loop, and you're going to pull it down towards you. Okay, and then you'll see that one hole... Um, the one loop being closed and then we'll have we have another one here now to get rid of this one we're going to take our tail end and pull on that loop to pull it closed okay so by the end of the first round you should have 12 double crochet stitches then we're going to join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch okay so you're going to find your first stitch which is this one right here okay you're going to find I'm um, your first stitch. I'm just going to um, work over my tail end, so I'm just going to put my yarn over my hook. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through, and then pull the first loop through. Whoopsie. <laughs> Let me do that again. Okay, so you're going to find your first stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through. Then you're going to pull your first loop through your second loop, like that to do your slip stitch. Then we're going to chain up two. Again, it does not count as a stitch. So to do a chain, you're going to yarn over and pull through. That's one. Yarn over and pull through. That's two. Then we're going to do an increase into each stitch around. And an increase is essentially just two double crochets into the same stitch. So you're going to double crochet is yarn over, insert into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through. I'll have three loops on the hook, then you're going to yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through the last two to do your double crochet. And then because this, this is an increase into each stitch around, we're going to do another double crochet stitch into that same stitch that we previously did this double crochet. So we'll insert our hook into there, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Yeah. And then you just repeat that around, placing two double crochets into each stitch around. And your stitch count should have gone up from 12 to 24 by the end of the second round. And again, I'm just working over that tail end. I am just keeping my tail end um, behind the stitches or just next to the stitches. 
so that I can work over that tail end. Okay, and again, you're just going to place um, you're going to place two double crochets into each stitch around, and your stitch count should be a total of 24 stitches by the end of this round. Yeah, so I'm nearly at the end. Yeah, so now I'm just doing my last two double crochets into the last stitch. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like now. And as you can see, there's two double crochets into each stitch around. And again, your stitch count should have gone up from 12 up to 24 by the end of this last round. And now we're going to slip stitch to join. So again, we're going to find our first double crochet that we did. Insert our hook. And now the way that I personally like to do slip stitches that I find that is easier. Um, so normally, like what they teach you, like how the first slip stitch I showed you, you would yarn over, pull through the stitch, and then pull that first loop through that loop. But sometimes it can be a little bit tricky, and sometimes, um, sometimes you may pull your yarn a bit tight, so making it hard for you to pull um, that loop through your last through that last loop on your hook so the way i like to do it is kind of like a single crochet but not quite a single crochet i'll show you what i mean so you're going to insert your hook into that first stitch you're going to yarn over and then twist your work down so that this stitch is kind of like at the same angle as this loop if that makes any sense so you're going to twist a hook down and then just pull your hook through both of those loops or stitches at the same time um, that way I just find it easier to do the slip stitch. It's much more quicker. Um, and it's kind of like a single crochet in a sense, but not quite. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just the way that I like to do, um, slip stitch. So yeah, then we're going to do the same. So we're going to chain up two, one and two. And then for this round, it's going to be slightly different. We're going to do one double crochet into the first stitch. So where this chain 2 is coming out of, you're going to do a double crochet into there. <coughs> then we're going to do an increase into the next stitch. And again, an increase is 2 double crochets. And you will just repeat that around. So you place an, uh, one single crochet into the next stitch. And then an increase into that next stitch. And you just repeat this around, placing one double crochet in the next stitch, and then an increase all the way around, and your stitch count should have gone up from 12, sorry, from 24 up to 36 by the end of this next round. So now I've made a background at the beginning, and I just finished up my last uh, increase. And then again, we're going to slip stitch to the beginning. So find your first double crochet and do your slip stitch again. The way I like to do it is yarn over, twist my hook down, and then pull my hook through both of those loops simultaneously. And then again, by the end of that round, our stitch count should have gone up from 24 up to 36 by the end of this round. Then you're going to chain up two again, which does not count as a stitch. Then we're going to place one double crochet in the first two double crochets okay so that's one then in the next stitch one double crochet and then an increase into the next and a great way to know that if you're doing your increases correctly is that now your increases should kind of start to line up okay so again you're going to place one double crochet into the next two stitches so that's one and two 
and then you'll place an increase into the next stitch. Then again, you're going to place one double crochet into the next two stitches, and then an increase into the next. Okay, and that is the repeat pattern for this round, placing one double crochet in the next two stitches, and then an increase, and your stitch count should have gone up from 36 up to 48 by the end of this round. Okay, so you can go off and you can you can complete this placing one double crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase and again your stitch count should have gone up from from 36 up to 48. Okay. Okay, so now I've made it back around to the beginning and I've ended on an increase. And again, your stitch count should have gone up from 36 up to 48 by the end of that round. And again, you're going to find your first double crochet and slip stitch to join. Okay, then you're going to chain up two. Then for this round, you're going to place one double crochet into the first three stitches. So that's one, two, and three, and then an increase into the next. Again, one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then an increase into the next. Okay, and then that is the repeat pattern for this round. So you'll just place one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then an increase. And your stitch count should have gone up. From 48 up to 52 by the end of this round. Yeah, so you can go off and I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the next round. Okay, so now I'm back after completing the fifth round. And you should have a total of 52 double crochet stitches by the end of that round. Um, so now moving on to the last increase round. We're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet again. Okay, then we're going to chain up two. And then we're going to place one double crochet into the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three and four and then an increase okay and that is the repeat pattern for this round you're just going to place one double crochet into the next four stitches and then an increase and your stitch count should have gone up from 52 up to 60 by the end of this round Yeah, and as I said before, your increases should line up. So as you can see, there is the increases on top of the increases. So that's also a great way to know if you're on track and if you haven't skipped any stitches, um, is to make sure that all of your increases are lined up. Because once your, your increases are mismatched, then you've accidentally um, done one extra stitch um in between the increases then if that makes sense okay so again you're just going to place one double crochet into the next four stitches and then an increase and again your stitch count should have gone up from 52 up to 60 by the end of this sixth round okay so you can go off and you can finish round six and then I'll come back and show you what to do from there okay so now I am back after completing round six of the increases and now it is time to do the shell stitches or the cluster stitches whatever you want to call it <laughs> um, to make the nice cute decorative part of a hat 
So again, to end off this round, you're just going to find your first double crochet stitch and slip stitch to that, to the beginning stitch. Okay, and then um, to get started on the cluster or the shawl stitch, you're going to chain up two, again, does not count as a stitch. Then, into this first stitch that we slip stitched into, you're going to do four double crochets in there. So again, you're going to yarn over and search, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, three, and four. Yeah, so that's four stitches into that first stitch you see there. Then you're going to skip three stitches. You're going to skip one, two, three, and then in that fourth stitch, you're going to place another four double crochets. So again, you're going to skip three, one, two, three, and then in that next one, you're going to do four double crochets. Yeah, four double crochets. Then again, oops, yeah, I actually placed the last double crochet stitch into that next stitch. Yeah, okay, so into that same stitch, four double crochets. Okay, then you're going to skip three, one, two, three, then into that next stitch, um, into that next stitch, you're going to do another four double crochets in there. Yeah, last one. Okay, and then you just repeat that around. You're going to skip three, one, two, three, then into that fourth stitch. You're going to do four double crochets into that fourth stitch. Again, skip three, one, two, three, and then into that fourth stitch. You're going to do four double crochets. And you will just repeat that all the way around and by the end of this round you should have 18 cluster stitches or shawl stitches whichever one you want to call it i don't even know <laughs> i don't even know what to call this hat but i'm just going to call it the shawl or the cluster stitch um so yeah again it's four double crochets into the fourth stitch after the next one yeah, so that's what it should be looking like. Yeah, so there's three stitches in between each of the shell stitches. Okay, so you can repeat that around until you have a total of 18 cluster stitches. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so now after completing the first round of the shell, this is what it should be looking like now. Okay, so now you should have exactly three stitches left. Okay, you're going to find your first double crochet stitch, which is this one here. And you're going to slip stitch there into that first stitch. Then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So find your next stitch, slip stitch there. Then in between... In between um, these middle two stitches or in, in the middle of this cluster stitch you're going to slip stitch right into there so not into the top of the next stitch right in between those two stitches so you're just going to slip stitch there and then you're going to chain up two and then do your four double crochets so that's one two three and four and then you're going to find the middle the middle of that cluster stitch um, and then you're going to do your four double crochets into there one two three and four 
then again you're going to find the center of that cluster stitch and you are going to do your four double crochets in there and you just repeat that around placing four double crochets in the middle of each cluster stitch making sure you're not going into that third stitch but in between those two double crochet stitches okay yeah. so you just repeat that around and then i will come back and i'll show you what to do from there Yeah, so again going into the center of each cluster stitch and doing your four double crochets in there okay yeah. okay so now i am back after completing round eight and we are going to do the same thing so we're going to slip stitch we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch and then into the second stitch and then in between those middle two double crochet stitches and then you just repeat row eight so again you're going to chain up two and then do your four double crochets in between each cluster stitch and you will repeat row eight until you have a total of seven cluster rounds or you will have a total of 13 rounds by the end of the seven seven rounds of cluster stitches if that makes any sense so from from the magic ring to the end you should have a total of 13 rounds when you finish the cluster rounds or if it's easier You'll have seven cluster rounds by the end of of the well yeah you will have seven cluster rounds um when we are ready to finish off the hat or do the brim of the hat i should say okay so again you're going to repeat row eight which is just placing four double crochets um into into the center of each um, each cluster stitch and then you are in order to join you're just going to slip stitch to the first stitch and the second stitch and then into the middle there okay so you'll just repeat row eight until you have um until you have seven rounds in total of shawl or cluster stitches whatever you want to call it <laughs> So you can go off and you can continue repeating row 8 until you have 7 cluster rows in total. Okay. okay, so now I am back and I am now ready to, to join. Um, after completing 7 rounds of the shawl um, cluster stitch, whatever you want to call it, um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So now we are ready to start working on the brim of the hat. So we are going to join with the slip stitch to the first stitch. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do something different now. So you see how kind of like how uneven and this is not quite straight. Um, if that makes any sense. Um, so we're going to fix that. So what we're going to do is we are going to chain up one. Then we're going to do a half double crochet into each of the four stitches. So half double crochet is you're going to yarn over your hook, insert into that first stitch, then you're going to yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loop to, loops to do a half double crochet. So again, you're going to yarn over, go into that next double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook, then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do a half double crochet. 
and a way to know whether you are doing a half double crochet or a double crochet is. So if you look here, if you look here at the double crochet stitch, you have like two like little two horizontal bars. You have that one and then you have that one. So that's a way to know if you if you are doing a double crochet. Whether a half double crochet only has one uh, horizontal bar there. If you see there, it only, it only has one. And a double crochet is two. That one and that one. Okay. So we are going to continue um, placing one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So again, it's yarn over. And as soon as you the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook. Then you yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay. And then, after you've done four half double crochets, you're going to do a double crochet into the space here. So again, it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two to do a double crochet. Then again, we're going to do one half double crochet into the next four stitches. So you're going to yarn over, find that next stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through, You'll have three loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So that's one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. Then again, your four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four, and then again a double crochet in between those two cluster stitches. Yeah, so now it should be looking something like this. And you'll just repeat this all the way around. Just placing one half double crochet into each of the four double crochet stitches and then a double crochet in between these two cluster stitches or in between each cluster stitch you're going to do a double crochet. Okay, so as you can see you have four half double crochets, then a double crochet, four half double crochets, double crochet, four half double crochets and then a double crochet. Okay, so you will repeat that all the way around. And you should have 90 stitches by the end of this round. Okay. So you can go off and complete this round. And then I'll come back and show you what to do for the next round. Okay. Okay. So now I am back, I've made it round to the beginning and I just did my last four half double crochets. And before I join with the slip stitch, I'm going to do my last double crochet um, in between these two shawl stitches and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Okay. And then moving on to this next round, we are simply just going to put one half double crochet into each stitch around. So we're going to chain one. And then we're just going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around. Sorry, I just noticed that I actually um, did my slip stitch um, not into the top of that stitch, but like kind of like in between the chain and the half double crochet. My bad. So I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that stitch and then I'm going to chain one and then as I said we're going to place one half double crochet into each um, stitch around and again our stitch count should remain the same as 90 stitches okay so again our half double crochet is just yarn over insert yarn over pull through you'll have three loops on the hook then yarn over and pull through all three to so do a half double crochet okay so you will just repeat that all the way around and then I'll come back and show you what to do um, for the brim to make it all nice and wavy and to give it that nice cute little look to the hat yeah so you can go off and carry on placing one half double crochet 
into each stitch and then I'll come back and show you what to do. Okay, so now I am back after doing that um, last row of half double crochet in each stitch around. Um, we're going to join with the slip stitch again. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is this is where this is the round where we get our hat all nice and wavy like this um please excuse it's a little bit dirty <laughs> i don't think i washed this since i actually first made it years ago um yeah it's been crazy um okay so to do the like wavy part of the brim what we're going to do is we're going to chain up two then we're going to place an increase, a double crochet increase into the next nine stitches. Okay. See, I do it. I did it again. I had slip stitched, slip stitched. <laughs> I had slip stitched to like in between this the the chain and the half double crochet. You need to slip stitch into the top of the stitch to the top. Come on. There we go. Okay. So anyway, we're going to chain up two. Then we're going to do an increase, a double crochet increase into the next nine stitches. So you're going to do two double crochets into each stitch for the next nine stitches. Okay. So this is one. One. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. eight and then nine okay so we've done an increase into the next nine stitches so we can count so we've got one two three four five six seven eight and nine groups of of increases then into the next stitch into the tenth stitch we're going to do you're going to place three double crochets into there. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, so we have an increase into the first nine stitches and then three double crochets into the tenth stitch. Okay, so we've got an increase into the first nine stitches. So two double crochets into the first nine then three double crochets into the next stitch, the tenth stitch. And that is the pattern for this round. We're going to do an increase into the next nine stitches. So that's one, two, one, two, three, Four, five, five, six, seven, eight. And nine, okay. So, again, there is our nine increases, and then again into that tenth stitch, we're going to place ten. Oh, sorry, ten double crochets. We're going to place three double crochets into that tenth stitch. Jeez, imagine having 10 double crochets into the one stitch. That hat will, well, this hat would really, really be wavy. So as you can see, um, it's already starting to work its magic. 
Um, so yeah, you will just repeat that around, placing an increase into the next nine stitches and then three double crochets into the following stitch. And yeah, you'll just repeat that around and your stitch count should have gone up from 90 stitches to 207. <laughs> 207 stitches by the end of that round um yeah so this is um essentially what is making it um so wavy like this which is what we want um so yeah um the first hat that i did um actually was different um but it's essentially the same um just for the the um this round here, you see I did three half double crochets and then skipped the last one and then did one double crochet in between those cluster stitches. And um, yeah, it gave the hat like a wavy look, but it's not as wavy as as this, like this one, you know, and I feel like this one is a lot better. And I did an extra double crochet round of like no increases, just double crochets in each stitch around. Um, but yeah, I feel like doing um doing the four half double crochets and then a double crochet here and then just doing one round of double crochet increases i feel like that kind of gives the the length and the look that we need much better than than this one in my opinion um so yeah so again you'll just repeat that around you'll place an increase into the next nine stitches and then three double crochets into the next or the tenth stitch um, yeah, then you can go off and I'll come back and uh, show you what to do from there. Okay, so now I am back and I have one more stitch to do. And you should have exactly 10 stitches left from your last increase. Okay, so from your last um, increase or your last three double crochets, you should have exactly 10 stitches left. So I just completed um, my last nine set of increases um so as you can see there that's one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and the last stitch you're going to place your three double crochets in there okay so yeah this hat is very basic very beginner friendly um i hope you guys managed to follow along um, yeah, and I hope you guys have a nice cute little hat at the end of this. Um, okay, so now to end off, uh, we're just going to find our first stitch and slip stitch to our first stitch. And then, now we're basically finished with this hat. So we can grab our scissors. So we can grab our scissors and we can snip our yarn. Just leave a little bit of a tail just to sew that in. Then you're going to do a chain one basically. So you're going to yarn over and pull up and out and then you can grab your darning needle okay so you're going to grab your darning needle and thread your tail end onto your darning needle and then we're going to come to the inside of the hat here to the wrong side of the hat and i'm just going to sew down into uh, this first stitch just going under some of those loops there Okay, and then I like to just kind of pull tight, but not too tight where it distorts the stitches. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to sew down into some of these stitches over here. Just going underneath those stitches, not to poke your needle out the other side. Um, so just going to weave your needle through. Don't pull tight because you don't want to distort the work. Then we're going to skip like this first little vertical bar. And then go under that next loop and then through those stitches the way we came came out of and then again do not pull on your your yarn too tight because you're going to distort it and um and again i'm just going to weave my needle back through the way that it came so again i'm going to skip this first stitch or that first um vertical bar there and again i'm just going to go under some of these stitches Okay, and then I'm just gonna thread the tail end onto my darning needle. Okay, 
and then again just pull your tail through those stitches again do not pull tight you don't want to distort the stitches okay and there we go then we can just grab our scissors and we can just snip off that little bit of a tail and we can do the same for the center so you don't have to weave it in if you worked over your tail end like what i did um i'm just gonna snip my tail end and there we go that is the finished hat um yeah that is the finished cluster shawl stitch um hat the finished cluster shawl hat shawl cluster cluster shawl cluster shawl hat i think i like that cluster shawl hat um okay yeah so, so that is it guys okay guys so that is it for today's tutorial i hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to crochet this really cute um very basic cluster shawl stitch hat um i think that that is the name that i'm gonna go uh, that i'm gonna go with for this hat um i think it just makes perfect sense so this is the hat that i finished on camera so the, I'm going to call this the lovey dovey hat. So like the color, the name. So do you like the lovey dovey um, cluster shawl stitch hat? Okay, so this is the third one. Okay. So this is the one that I did in the camera. Okay, so this is the lovey dovey. And then this one is the Bahama Blue. Okay, so this is what it's called. The Bahama Blue cluster shawl stitch hat. So do you like the Bahama Blue one? Do you like the original pink cluster shell stitch hat? I don't even know which one, what, what to call this hat. Um, yeah, so I don't even know what to call this hat. Um, honestly, don't even know what, what kind of yarn this is. Um, I know for sure it's definitely DK weight yarn. Um, I just have no idea where I bought it from or the color. I literally have no idea. This is a hat that I appreciated years ago, as I've mentioned before. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to crochet this really cute um, cluster shawl stitch hat. And um, yeah, please let me know which hats do you like best, whether it's the original one, the Bahama Blue, the Bahama Blue hat, or the Lovey Dovey one. So which one do you like best? This one's very similar, but definitely not the same. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favourite. And yeah, let me know if you guys managed to follow along and if you guys would like to see more tutorials like this. Um, maybe more hats, um, more accessories, clothing. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys um, would like to see here on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so that is it for today's tutorial, guys. I really hope you guys managed to follow along. And I really, really hope that you enjoyed crocheting this really beautiful cluster shell stitch hat with me. Please don't forget to share your makes and your creations um, on the socials. And please tag me. Um, I would really love to see your makes and your creations. And um, yeah, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. And yeah. That's it guys, thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting! Bye guys!